Hello, this is Kevin Bowersox, creator of the blog Two Thought. In today's tutorial, we'll be looking at the JPA annotation order by and how we can use that annotation to order collections within our entity. Um, this is very valuable. It saves us from having to order the collection ourselves. I'm not very fond of writing comparators, so if I don't have to do it, um, it'll save me some time and I'm all for it. If you'd like to follow along with today's tutorial, the project we'll be using is going to be the project that was completed in the JPA Entity Collections post. So you can visit the blog and click the GitHub link um, at the bottom and download the project and follow along. To begin, let's turn to our data model to see what we'll be ordering. Within our data model, we have a post, and each post can have multiple comments that establishes a one-to-many relationship between the two. And we'll start out by first ordering by the body column within the comment table. And then we'll try to explore ordering by some of the other fields, such as maybe the created date. Um, you'll see that that show or that will create a few issues. Uh, be, if you remember from our previous posts, our created date, author, and email are stored in an embeddable, and then they are embedded within the comment object. So let's head to the object model to explore. the setup. Um, so you can see that we have our comment entity and our post entity. And what I was saying earlier is that we have the embedded stamp which has the author email and created date columns. That's how we map to those columns. And you'll see that will present some challenges for us later. First we're just going to start out by looking at a post and ordering the list of comments within this post. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the order by annotation. I'll import that and now I need to specify an attribute name. Um, so we're naming a field on comment that we would like to order by. And to start out, we'll just go with body. And then you, whoops, that needs to be a string literal. And then after you specify the field, you can provide the order um, that you would like to receive the list of comments in. Uh, we'll start out with just getting it in descending order. And since we're ordering, we may not want to use an array list because the order of an array list is not guaranteed. So I'm going to switch over to a linked list, uh, which will guarantee the order that we receive the elements in. With the order by annotation in place, let's head to the post repository test. Um, this is where most of our work for this post will actually take place. So to start, I'm going to remove these other tests just so we have a clean slate. I most likely won't remove these from the source code I commit to GitHub. So we create a new test. And the first thing we'll need to do is insert some posts and comments that we can sort by. So I'm going to create a new post. And I'm going to set the title. And now we're going to create a few comments. I'm going to do this in a loop. Whoops. And we'll make 30 of them.
and so we'll create the comment. And I'm also going to make a stamp while I'm here. And with the stamp, I'm just going to set the author. And I'm going to set the created date, which we will try to order by later. And you'll see what I've done. Um, I've used the deprecated date constructor just for demonstration purposes. It's a quick way. And within that, I've specified the day as the variable we're using for iteration. So we're going to get you know, February 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and so on. And that'll allow us to make the order by a little bit more apparent instead of putting the same date in there. So I'm going to place the stamp within the comment and I'm actually going to create an array list of comments. And I'll add the comments into that array list. We'll save our post. I need to set the comments in the post. Okay, at this point we should be able to persist 29 comments and one post and then we will be able to test the order that is returned of those comments. Actually I forgot to set two important pieces. First I need to send, set the uh, comment body. So I'm gonna add X to the comment body because we're going to be ordering by the comment body and I want that to be different. And I'll just put test after it. And then also I need to set the post in the comment since this is a bi-directional relationship. Um, JPA will not manage the child side of the relationship. Uh, that is our responsibility. So with those two pieces in place, I can then pull the post from the database. And we can grab the list of comments. I already have that name, so I'll we'll have to change that. And instead of using uh, JUnit's assert methods, I'm just going to print them out in a loop. So we can test to make sure we get the order we expect. And what doesn't it like there? Oh, I spelled it wrong. There we go. And we'll get the body and we'll print it out. Let's run our test. We'll see what happens. I'll pull my console window up. So we're not exactly in descending order, are we? Because we're printing out from 0 to 29. The reason this is occurring is if we look in our console, uh, we can see that Hibernate didn't issue a select statement uh, for our call to get the comments. That's because it's pulling it from its cache. Uh, and that cache is not ordered. So what we can do, we can 
auto wire the persistence context and we can explicitly tell the entity manager to refresh our post and now when we run our test we'll see that it has sorter, sorted in descending order. So it started with uh, the body that contained 9, went to 8, the 2s, and then the 1s, and finally 0. So we can tell that our ordering worked. Uh, we can further justify that it's working by putting it in ascending order. and we can tell that we're now sorting by ascending order. So that's how to implement a basic order by annotation to order a collection within an entity. What we're going to focus on now is ordering by a column or an attribute specified in the embeddable. So I'm going to head back to post and according to all the readings that I have read about JPA, I should be able to specify an attribute um, in stamp that its entity post has embedded the stamp. I should be able to specify one of these attributes on stamp and sort by it. So let's try to go by the created date. Remember, we're using fields here, not column names. And we'll try running our test now. We can see that we receive an exception. An exception there. Um, this is just, I believe, hibernate deviating from the JPA specification. I can't say that's for sure. I have not investigated the source code, but according to everything I've read, we should be allowed to do that. Um, as I have tested, one workaround I have found for this is to simply put the column name, and we can test this. Um, I'll print out the date in our iteration here. So I made a simple date format grab the created date from the stamp and we'll format it and now we'll run our test uh, using the column name instead and you can see that now we are actually uh, the test runs and we are ordering by the date. Um, there we have January 31st and then we move into February 1st. So the order is working properly. Whether or not I would use this, it, it seems to be a workaround and it could break in future versions. Um, maybe if I was really desperate I would use it. I wouldn't rely on it. It's much better to go by the attribute. Um, but it is a workaround in case you need it. And it's a good example of how there can be deviation from the JPA specifications and the literature you'll read on JPA. So that wraps up today's post. I hope you learned something. hope you enjoyed it. Until we meet again.